About six years ago, I made a video, and the title was What Voluntarism Is and What It Ain't. And I've had six years now to think about this, and you know, I'm still not 100% convinced any one way or another. Uh, I, I would like you to first, if you haven't already seen this video, I'm going to go ahead and play it again, and then I'll have some follow-up thoughts after we listen to this video. Wait a minute. I've been hearing all this talk about this thing and that thing, and it's being attributed to being an anarcho-capitalist or a voluntarist? No, I don't think so. Today, let's talk about voluntarism and anarcho-capitalism, what it is and what it ain't. In the phrase anarcho-capitalism, we have anarcho and we have capitalism. Let's break those two down. Anarchy is kind of the root word of anarcho. That's what we mean by it. What does that mean? What is anarchy? Don't ask me, let's ask the man who knows it best, Larkin Rose. Larkin, what is anarchy? Capitalism. What is capitalism? Even a Marxist believes in capital, so aren't we all capitalists? Well, yeah, kind of, sort of. It comes down to popular definition, real definition, technical definition, etc. But when we say anarcho-capitalist, what we mean by capitalist is somebody that believes in property. They believe in property rights. I have the right to have property, sell it to you, you can make a profit from that sale. It all kind of comes down to property. That's what we're going to use as, as the, our definition of capitalism. What is and what isn't anarcho-capitalism? Is anarcho-capitalism the same as voluntarism? No. They're two different things. Anarcho-capitalism is essentially someone that believes in anarchy and capitalism. Someone that believes in both of those things might also believe in using the existing systems or supposed systems that exist of government by voting. So an anarcho-capitalist might vote. An anarcho-capitalist might run for public office. Voluntarism is different in that a voluntarist agrees that they are not going to initiate violence against anyone. And a voluntarist believes that voting is initiating violence because we're in effect condoning someone else telling someone else what to do or taking their property. And that is kind of down the line a way of initiating force. So those are kind of the differences between voluntarism and anarcho-capitalism. What voluntarism and anarcho-capitalism are not is anything beyond believing in anarchy, believing in capitalism, believing in perhaps the non-aggression principle, that's kind of the voluntary strain of it. These things don't have anything to do with a whole plethora of other special interests, like enjoying apples, disliking broccoli, a certain parenting style, vegan foods, vegetarian foods, being a meat eater, Loving chocolate, Bitcoin, trading shells as uh, a monetary system, liking the stock market, enjoying the banking industry or hating the banking industry, hating wealthy people, loving wealthy people. None of this has anything to do with being a voluntarist or an anarcho-capitalist. Many anarcho-capitalists and voluntarists have a preference one way or the other about all these topics. However, we can't assume that just because someone is interested in voluntarism or anarcho-capitalism that they necessarily like Bitcoin or any of these other specialty things like being a vegan. It ain't vegetarianism. It ain't veganism. It ain't loving Bitcoin. It ain't a certain type of child rearing. It ain't believing in the UN's passionate push for sustainability and environmentalism and all that stuff. It ain't Bitcoin. It ain't about being a redneck. It ain't about being from Seattle and liking to smoke weed. It ain't about loving drugs or hating drugs. It ain't about any of these things. It ain't about guns. It ain't about shooting. It ain't about hating guns or loving guns has nothing to do with that. Has nothing to do with loving or hating broccoli. Has nothing to do with loving or hating big corporations or small businesses. So what are your thoughts after watching that video? 
Um, I have kind of come to the conclusion, uh, I'm leaning toward thinking, that, you know, we each get to decide what we're going to call something. You know, you know the, the dictionary or the definition fallacy. Um, you know, I can't claim rights to a word like voluntarism or, or something like that. So, yeah, I, I, I can't claim rights. You can't claim rights. Uh, but if I kind of break it down and I look at its history and such, voluntarism has to do with um, removing oneself from government processes and, uh, you know, if you look back at uh, Oberon Herbert and, and you look at uh, then after him, Carl Watner, uh, you look at what they did. That's what it means to me. But if we didn't agree with those folks, we, we got rid of history and we just said voluntarism, everything should be voluntary. If we look at things from that perspective, is it voluntary if I ask someone else to steal money from someone? Or if I ask them to spend money that they've already stolen from someone, is that a voluntary thing to do? And when I think about it, that's kind of what voting is, isn't it? If I'm voting for a politician, I'm in essence saying, hey, I either want this person to, or I would rather have this person do it than the worst of the two evils. I want this person to tell other people what to do, even if those people don't agree to it, even if it's non-voluntary. And I want that person to steal money from the people and to spend it on whatever this lesser of two evils thinks is a good idea. And it occurs to me that that's not a very nice thing to do to neighbors. Is that voluntary? I'm kind of thinking it's not. I'm thinking that is using force. Am I off track? What do you think? <laughs>